Welcome back to The Late Show. Folks, my first guest tonight is an Academy Award-winning writer, actor, and director you know from What We Do in the Shadows, Thor Ragnarok, and Jojo Rabbit. Please welcome Taika Waititi. <laughs> Not everybody. Not everybody gets a standing up, baby. Look at that. Please. Look at that. Now, fans out there are very excited about the forthcoming uh, Thor Love and Thunder. Yeah. That you wrote and directed and, 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 and are in. In the trailer, in the, in the trailer out there, you have given us a little taste um, of the full Thor. For those of you who haven't seen it, Thor is buck naked. Okay. Was this this was your idea, I assume, being the writer and the director? In the movie, it's not pixelated though. It's not. No. You see you get the full hymns worth. Now this is the full worthiness. And there's a pattern there. There's a pattern. There's a pattern there. And have it on the front. Is there a front shot? It's uh do we see Mjolnir? Maybe an IMAX. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> Maybe an IMAX. I don't know. No. Uh -huh. this no, is a... but... Oh, there's another one. There's a pattern. There's a pattern. This is, this is from Ragnarok. You showed us Hulk butt in that. <laughs> this will be your Someone legacy. I would say it's an obsession. I would just say it's art. Yes. <laughs> yes, the David has a bare butt. I tell you what, though. I mean, with Chris... I mean, he's worked so hard on that. You know, it's uh, so many squats. It's, it's so many squats. You, it's a, you know, it'd be, a, I'd be depriving humanity if I didn't show that. Now, when you're writing this, you, you wrote this script. Do you ever indulge in like fan theories? Like, do you ever listen to what the fan theories are of what the script? Do you ever go I on the like internet to, and go like, "That's a good I idea"? I like to, I like to listen to the fans, and then I like to troll the fans back a bit because uh, it just brings me some little bit of joy. Just, just a little bit. I don't have many joys in my life, you know. I've got my kids and trolling fans. But um, I like where, you know, they say... That, you know, when I did Ragnarok, you know, there are a few people who didn't know what I did and, you know, they, they, what I'd done before, and they said, oh, he's going to ruin this! He's going to ruin Thor! And I would write back, oh, I'm going to ruin it, all right. <laughs> oh, 100%, I'm going to ruin it for you. you, you know, and then I would say things like, you don't know what you want until I give it to you, and stuff like that. And um, it's... I know, it, I know, it's rude. Wow. It's rude. Wow. But it's true. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, you know, the fans, again, you know, they came round on Ragnarok. Uh, yeah, they love that. They're going to love this. You guys are going to love this film. Did you draw on any actual Norse mythology? Because there really is, you know. We this know film, from the... Like, when you look at this film, I'd say... It's like we asked a bunch of six-year-olds what they wanted in a movie, and we just said yes to everything. Okay? <laughs> it's like... It is... It's so Thank ridiculous. You. Thank you. It's a Viking ship being towed through space by two giant goats, and that's what Thor rides around on in this movie. That's from and mythology, right? And that's from right? the mythology. Wow. So, like, you know, people are like, ah, oh, it's too much, Taika. I'm like, no, we took it from the mythology. There's... That, there's so, I don't know if you... Have, you guys probably all love Loki, um, but... Uh, I was fishing for that. The, um, but I don't know if you know in the mythology that Loki, at one point, um, turned himself into a female horse, had sex with, like, a serpent, and then got pregnant, and then gave birth to an eight-legged horse. Wow. Why was that not in Avengers? Wow. Why? We've got to start a petition. I need, we need to see Tom Hiddleston pregnant with a horse. <laughs> Feet up in the stirrups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> Bush. And we've got a hoof. We've got another hoof. <laughs> OK, we have, we, have, uh, we have a clip here. OK. Can you, can you tell us what we're, what's the, the moment here? OK. Uh, I'm so nervous about giving anything away. OK, but OK, so this is a clip. And um, it's a crowd scene. It's my character, Korg. Yeah. I'm not just a voice, guys. I'm in there, the there scenes. I'm acting. Korg I'm right acting there. my heart out. Yeah. 
that's me acting my heart out. They just put, they just paint a big rock guy over the top of me. But um, so it's, uh, Thor and I um, in this scene, and um, it's uh, he hasn't seen Jane Foster, his ex girlfriend, for many years, and uh, it's him checking her out. And okay. she, she now, she has now a different identity. Is holding his hammer, and she is the mighty Thor. Jim. So that's the ex-girlfriend, is it? The old ex-girlfriend. Judy Foster. Jane Foster. The one that got away. The one that got away. That means escaped. Yeah. Yeah. Must be hard for you to see your ex-girlfriend and your ex-hammer hanging out and getting on so well. What you up to, bro? Come to daddy. Come on. No, no. I was just calling you. Now, we all know Korg. The uh, um, the movie is longer than that. It's gonna be. There's more. A little bit, a little bit of that. We all know Korg. We all love Korg. Thank Why you. does Korg have a New Zealand accent? Uh, because I'm so lazy as an actor that uh, it's the only accent I want to do. What's the New Zealand accent? It's so beautiful. Listen to it. Just listen to the way I'm speaking. It's just like having your, it's like having your eardrums just massaged to death. It's yes. just, oh, it's like it's... I may have said this to you before, but I love how you all pronounce what we, what we call a short E. Like, say the girl's name, B-E-T-H. Beth. Beth. I love the Beth. <laughs> no, Beth. Yeah. I love Egg. it. Egg. Beth. Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, that's the way. I mean, I've adjusted my accent in, the, in America because... The way I'd normally speak, you guys would never understand a thing I was saying. Can you slip into uh, unintelligible Kiwi? Yeah, I can talk into my normal accent, and um, this is how I normally talk when I'm back home. And um, this is, uh, anyone can, everyone can understand me when I'm back home. So this is just uh, the way that I speak. <laughs> so, hey, it's just mumbling. It's You're just mumbling. You're just mumbling. That's not an accent. <laughs> I've spent a lot of time down there. Okay. The I'm New obsessed Zealand with your... accent. The New yes. Zealand accent is just mumbling, but it's beautiful mumbling. It's turning, yes. the, it's turning mumbling into an art form. My my Hollywood connection down there, or my Wellywood connection down there, is Peter Jackson, the oh, lovely yeah. fellow. Has been very generous this time to help. Did you talk to him at all about shooting spectacular movies like this, like large scale films or anything? Yeah, yeah. Um, I uh, I had some I had some good chats about when I was about to do Thor. Also, when I did um, what we do in the shadows, when Jermaine and I were shooting that, um, we didn't have much money to do that film, and The Hobbit was just it just wrapped, and so our production designer, man, I don't know if I should tell this. Okay, but I will. Um, our production designer, in the dead of night, took his crew to the Hobbit studios and stole all of the dismantled, broken down green screens and <laughs> took all of the timber and we built a house. We built the house and what we do in the shadows is built out of the Hobbit's green screen. <laughs> wow. And I have never talked to Peter Jackson about this. <laughs> I don't know if he knows. I like telling it at parties, that story, but I don't know if he actually knows. Um, <laughs> we have to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Taika Waititi, everybody.